Hey guys, how's it going today? Today let's uh, take a look at one of the first true pioneers of the first person shooting genre and that is Hover Tank 3D. This came out even before uh, Catacomb Abyss and Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. So this is truly uh, one of the first original first person shooters and developed by the same company, id Software. Uh, John Carmack, of course, in Softest Publishing, which also made Catacomb 3D. Yeah, this this is one of the first um, that I know of. This came out in 1991, and if you know like a first person actual first person shooter game that came out in 1991, then let me know because this is like the earliest first person shooter game I know. Okay, start at level one. Your first assignment is to rescue a bunch of scientists. So I guess um, you're a soldier and someone to rescue scientists. And you're, you're driving a hover tank. All right, so I'm, I guess I'm in a tank here. That just looks like, um, that almost looks like a demon from Catacomb 3D. Pretty interesting. And uh, my cursor is bobbing up and down. Presumably I'm driving a hiver tank. But yeah, this is a very primitive version of the Wolfenstein 3D engine, as you can see. This came out before Catacomb, before uh, Wolfenstein 3D, so... When you really want to talk about the grandfather of first person shooters, then this is it. <laughs> oh man, but you got the basic hub. Right, the HOD HUD. Um, you have a, uh, I have a time limit. I have a timer. Wow. Oh, yeah, I guess I better hurry. There's a. I have to save all these children. I guess. I have to save all these children for the time timer, timer runs out. I don't like games that have timers on them. I don't. I wonder if that's John John Carmack himself saying that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh man, crazy. Okay, I have a radar too, that's pretty cool. That's definitely an innovation. Later games all came with a radar. A catacomb came with a radar as well. I think I only saw one bad guy. There's only two levels. So I presumably this was like a demonstration of their engine. They didn't, uh... This game wasn't really a full game. It's only two levels, so... Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Now I gotta get to the exit on time. There we go. Oh, that's, that's pretty good graphics. Some bearded guy in there giving me cash. Okay. I'm ready. Ooh. That's pretty interesting. I definitely see the uh, influence of this on Catacomb because the same kind of explosions, same similar monsters and stuff, except not as many. There's another one. This is like the same fireball that I fire in Catacomb. And by the way, that sound is just my tank, I guess, rolling across the ground. Oh, I know someone died. How dare you kill one of those children. Okay, guess only one left since one of them died. Although how they die, I don't know because I haven't seen them another monster yet. I don't know how that guy died. Yeah, the uh, level design is kind of bland, but kind of expect that this being kind of a prototype, so. Okay, anyways. 
Yeah, this is Hover Tank 3D, and um, truly the first pioneer of the first-person shooter genre, because this game inspired Catacomb Abyss, which inspired Wolfenstein 3D, which in turn led to Doom, uh, which in turn led to Quake, so basically, and, and then Quake led to a whole bunch of other stuff too, like Doom 3, and then Doom 3 led to another thing, so, oh wow, the other guy's dying. So yeah, all the lineage, the uh, impressive lineage of first-person shooters, everything from Halo to Call of Duty to um, GoldenEye 007, one well, kind of, I guess. As far as PC gaming goes, I guess, um, you have like Doom and Quake and um, very influential first-person shooters. They all go back to this game, Hover Tank 3D. So yeah. Pay my respects towards this game, and uh, at least in early spring 1991, long time ago, but one year before Wolfenstein 3D. I'm I'm impressed that one year later, the same year they released Catacomb 3D, one year later released Wolfenstein, one year later released Doom, two years later released Quake. So in that span of just five years, they released all these influential titles. So props to ID Software and. Props to id Software and John Carmack for that. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.